This is polypropylene, the example completed in class. Step one, the initiation is completed here as shown in the previous video. An organic peroxide represented by X2 is acted on by ultraviolet light represented by H2 and two produces two pieces of free radical 2X stuff. Step two, the propagation of polypropylene. You're given the propylene monomer here. And again, you have to recognize that the propylene monomer can be manipulated into the same form. Isolate your double bond and put the CH3 group not involved in the reaction down below. The reaction happens at the site of the double bond. We need to isolate it. The free radical electron attacks. The upper bond breaks. One electron moves to the left and one to the right. This produces a bond that we need to join X to the left-hand CH2 group. The upper bond breaks. We're left with a single bond and a product which is also a free radical. The product from step one becomes the reactant into step two. So we simply add another piece of the monomer material. We show second addition. Again, free radical electron attacks. The upper bond breaks. One electron left, one electron to the right. Copying out the first monomer, X bonded CH2, CH. Now, we have our new bond that joins the second monomer. radical electron. One more step. We take our product out of step two and it becomes a reactant into step three. We add third and final piece of monomer. Show the attack one more time. Exactly the same as before. One monomer. Third and final monomer joined by the new bond and also with a free radical electron. We show that the process continues. Step three, the termination step, shows the deliberate termination here of uh, the free radical chain by adding hydrogen. Show one mer, bracket it, put an N outside, show that it goes on. Show the final mer in free radical form. Add hydrogen. Show your mechanism, free radical electron attacks, bond breaks, which separates the two hydrogen. Show your completed 
polymer chain, which is no longer in free radical form. When we join the hydrogen onto our CH group, it becomes a CH2. And the other hydrogen is in free radical form and can go on and terminate another growing free radical chain. 